Welcome to VV. Hey, <coughs> welcome to VVVV. Couple of V's. V, six V's. Oh man, this game um, is I'm really very good. sorry that uh, the uh, sound is uh, uh, not, I loved it. not I ideal. That's why I'm gonna uh, narrate to over what's going on. Game, um, game, because uh, I couldn't change the sound in game, so it, so the, when I recorded it, it records it at max volume. So and uh, usually, it. usually I then uh, I add the, my commentaries while I'm playing, but so now it's not it's not really possible because uh, the music just drowns out any anything I say. So hopefully I'm going to try and do it this way, and it's going to work alright. Yeah, oops, uh, a lot has happened now. Okay, basically it's a it's a little indie platformer. Um, that me um you. Yeah, you you're basically on a ship. It's a uh, sci-fi setting, and then everybody you something happened, and now it's uh, now it's crashed, and now you can. Uh, and that's the big main feature here is that you can swap gravity, you can flip up and down instead of uh, instead of jumping, and then you do sort of platforming sections throughout the the, uh, the game, and it has sort of like a world map and. Uh, yeah, um, and that's it, and then I'm going to just play it for a while, and uh, hop, yeah, well, just quite a while actually, but I, I get decently far, like halfway through, so uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy it, and this is, uh, this is my narration for it, so I hope you, uh, uh, it's the first time I'm doing this, so I hope it goes well, alright, so see there, you can see I jump, swapped upside down, and see there's little puzzles like that, that there's those spikes that give you, I mean, Oh yeah, the C is like a checkpoint. The C is a checkpoint, so if you die, you start at the checkpoint again. Uh, I was just trying to find the enter button there. <coughs> um, so everyone has been evacuated to the space station now. The rest of us are leaving in a couple of days once our research has been completed. I think that's the terminals that are left from the previous people who were in this dimension. Because that's the storyline, is that you're in this dimension. Yeah, you see that swapping right there. It's really, it's really cool. Oh, oh. The music is really great, though. So, um, um, also take a look at that if you're interested. Uh, Mr. Soul Eye does it, the music, and uh, all of it is available uh, on uh, on his Bandcamp website. And uh, actually, listen to a little bit of it. It's really cool. So, okay, here you um, here you find uh, here you find your first uh, rescuee. On some sort of um, the um, pilot. She's a. Uh, yeah, your crew members are scattered all over the, all over the ship. Oh yeah, that just is that your map, your, your big map. And you can see uh, where it's highlighted now. Okay, there is a new place highlighted. The small box that it's highlighted now is weird. Um, the current screen, if you can find a and then she just says you can, can if you find a teleporter, you can teleport yeah, so the game is all over the place. Oh, and, that, and that's um, where she is. Okay, now I'll, I'll try and find one. But it's more difficult. Good luck, Captain. Oh yeah, and you're the captain, of course. I mean, trying to find the rest of the crew. But it's it's hot, but it's more difficult than anything else. Like, see, so like that. That's how you count. I just really felt like playing it again. And here we go. Oh. oh snap. Yeah, timing and like sensitivity and the control is very important to get it properly, get it right properly. Edit, yes. Okay. Oh yeah, and there are, yeah, are like trinkets oh, yeah, scattered around. Uh, and then you can collect them to... Uh, to, uh, Oops, to get like uh, to unlock the more songs that you can play, um, but yeah, there are obviously in areas which are harder to get. There we go. One or two. Oh yeah, now total of twenty. Oh, see, and then it's the same thing. It's just upside down. Oh yeah, and every every screen has also like a, a, a title at the bottom. So just for some extra creativity or flavor. Oh yeah, and there's everyone. So I'm supposed to save. 
I mean, you can save your, you can also save your progress from the room. Um, you can save your progress from the menu that you can call up. Oh, this one is interesting. So you go down there, around there, in the middle, around there. Oh yeah, and if you, in case you're wondering, um, that um, I have, I have played this game before, so it's just not my first time I've finished it. It takes a little bit getting used to, but it's, it's a really great game. I really like it, and uh, I'm just playing it. Yeah, I'm just over again for the channel for the sake of sharing it. Oh. And there's, yeah, that's the teleporter, and then you can use the teleporter to to move around. And so there it is. Press enter, and then you can. Ah, Violet. there's Violet. Captain. Oh yeah, then it, it counts as a level if you've rescued someone for remain. So doctor, have you any idea what caused the crash? There's some sort of bizarre signal here that's interfering with our equipment. It caused the ship to lose its quantum position, collapsing us into this dimension. Oh no. But I think we should be able to fix the ship and get out of here. As long as we can find the rest of the crew. Okay, so obviously that's your job. I just need to find the rest we really don't know anything about the place. Oh yeah, so they show you, yeah. Our friends could be anywhere. They could be lost or in danger. Can they teleport back here? Not unless they find some way to communicate. Can't pick up their Can't signal, up their signal they unless they teleport here. Yeah, okay. So basically I have to go find them. So go find oh, them. look at this guy. We need to find them. Head out into the dimension and look anywhere. Oh, and, uh, okay, where do I start? Well, I've been trying to find them with... Uh, no, no, it's not working about the front. Yeah. Oh yeah, okay, basically, so those are points of interest. They show up in the scans. High energy pattern, so there's something there. There's a good chance they're in a teleporter or something. Or built near something important. So it's a trinket or a teleporter. So this is the main map, you can call it up at any time. Okay, so I have to go through all those. Okay, I'll head out because I'll be right here if you need help. You can talk okay, to them okay. again if you want. A little bit overwhelming, bit Doctor. Overwhelming. Where do I begin? Remember that you can press enter to check your map. And, and you can, if you get lost, just get to a teleporter, that's what she says, and then you can teleport back to this. is like the main part of the ship. <laughs> So basically, yeah, yeah, I mean, the trinkets allow you to unlock uh, new, new tracks, and then, uh, oh yeah, and he's concerned for Veronica, like the, she, she oh, studies yeah, yeah, the trinkets, and then, uh, then they can play. You can play them. You, you can select them there and play them with the jukebox, and see if you're in the ship now. And then, once you leave this thing, the normal, the normal music takes over again. See, okay. the jukebox doesn't play anymore. Yeah, it's just it's just a little extra feature. See where uh, the title of this place is now dimension V V V V V. Okay, here we go. As a checkpoint, so just get that checkpoint. Oh. Right through there. Okay. Some parts of this is okay. Like some parts I get through alright, and then other parts I struggle with. So you'll see. Oh, there we go. They found a teleporter. Ah, and there we are. This is the area of the new, the next area. Get ready to bounce. Get ready to bounce. Oh yeah, this one is my favorite. The song's called Potential for Anything. Okay, so every area has like a special little gimmick, oh, yeah. like a platform gimmick. This one has a mechanic. This one has those lines. If you touch those lines, then they flip you automatically. You have to use that to navigate through the through the areas. See like that. And then you're supposed to ooh, yeah, and then you have to jump to the okay. Oof, no. It did a lot no, not yet. So it is I guess it's a precision platformer, but it can also go under experimental category as far as the games are concerned. Because the whole up down thing. This is the first time I've seen it. I haven't seen it anywhere else. Um, well, I've seen it in one place after this game, but yeah, not before. So flipping. 
Okay, and there is a trinket, so this is a uh, little more difficult area that you can get the trinket down. So the idea is to go through that that one on the uh, right, the first one, the first string that you see. I call it, like, they look like strings to me. But you have to go through it twice, so flip, flip. You have to f go through it twice and then come back. So, yeah. Like that, yeah, see? Yeah, and this one is you, you flip first. And oh, yeah. yeah. I don't know, you can just figure it out. <laughs> flip, 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 and it flips you again. Yeah, so you. Because remember, you can't jump. So this one you just walk through because then it turns you. Yeah. And then, yeah. Okay. This one you have to get some range and then flip. And this one's really close, so you basically just use it as jumping. Once you flip, it's gonna bring you back down immediately, and then you do that and upside. Okay, and here you need some a little bit of range, and you need to turn around. So you don't, you shouldn't go too far right. You should be close to. You shouldn't generate too much momentum. Is the key here, and you need some distance. So when you flip, see if that was almost correct. Almost just close, and then yeah, okay. that's perfect. Okay, you know, that's just that like broken one. This one goes up, or it's just a, this one's just big, so. And it's part of it in the next frame, so. Yeah, this, one. this one's pretty straightforward. And this one's quite big as well. So. That one on top. Oops. But it's uh, quite close. But I realized if you just press forward, um, just press forward from the very start of the checkpoint, then you make it automatically like here. I just started pressing forward and then you make this one automatically, but not the next one. So you have to press forward, you make this part, and then here stop and then you do that. Flip over there. Yep. <laughs> so hold the way, and then stop, and go walk around here, and then go wait for it, and then as soon as you get to the bottom, it's flip, and then up here, oh yeah, yeah, here I went down, but I went up again, because there was a trinket on top there, to the left, but the, uh, this game requires you to go, go back and forth a little bit, because um, it is a little bit confusing and disorientating, as you can see, obviously. But uh, where you're supposed to go is it's the path sometimes split. So um, if you want to explore both, sometimes you have to go through one route and then you aren't allowed to go back like reverse. You can't backtrack. So then you have to uh, you have to do the same, you know, the same level sort of twice to get like the trinkets. That's mostly what it is for. Once it splits. Like here I just, here I thought about it and I was thinking, okay, maybe I should go back. I think I should and then, uh, then I decided to go back. Uh, which was the, which was the right, you know, which was the right idea. Because I, I wasn't sure whether there was a, which, which path was the right path, you know, or which one was the bonus extra path. And if you just touch the teleport, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. they save automatically your progress. And, and see here, I'm okay, so here, and I'm just checking the map again. I recommend you check your map often because um, it isn't a normal map. Like, the, like some, if you if you keep going down, for example, then you might end up up, you know, towards the upper part of the world map. And if you keep going left, and sometimes you, there are teleporters which end you up. So you you go all over the place. Oh yeah, sorry, I didn't read that. You see there that another one is reviewed. And if I go to the left, you'll see there's a trinket. Oh yeah, yeah. So this was the this was the right way to go to get an extra bonus. Yeah, oh, I I just recommend just going down whatever path and not really backtracking at all. But then uh, just going through the same area twice because that will be the that will be the easiest, otherwise you know, it's, it's sort of actually more effort to just keep on backtracking and checking and rechecking instead of just doing the same level twice. 
Anyways, okay, so we're even there, I yeah. have. And this part, ooh. Because at least these are stationary, so they're alright, but you need to sort of bounce up and down and get out of sync. If you're in sync with them, then you're gonna hit them. If you're out of sync with them, then you're gonna, then you're gonna pass them. And here, with them forward, uh, I don't know, you just have to get the timer right. Because you need to do a V, and you need to jump like, up. Through it, <laughs> like that. Oh man. I mean, this one, this one is rough. Because you need to bounce up like that, oh, and then bounce down, you'll see now. Bounce up there, bounce down, and then bounce what? up through the middle there. Because you're not gonna make... You're not gonna... Come on, no, no, no. It's not enough time to make it. All the way to the right, so you have to jump through the middle, and you have to you know, bounce it properly. I mean, even even apologizing for this one calls this one. I'm, I'm sorry. Because there, see, I mean, it's apex, and then you go back there, and you're yes. And then this part is okay, and it's normal, and then this is this similar except with spikes. So you just have to flip at the right place, and then you sort of see where you flip. Flip here, 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 and then there. Wow! And then this one, I think, is the last one. Up there, there, and then you have to go back there to get to, be, to go straight down again. Otherwise, it doesn't work. I am that was that was. Long. And then, then yeah, you find you find uh, I think the Vermilion or who's this, this one? No, no, this is not Vermilion. is a red one. But I didn't understand. I think this is with oh, okay. the yeah, this is a Victoria. This is Victoria. Okay, and then you teleport back, and then you. And then you're successfully in that uh, stage. Wow, that was a rough. That was a rough. That ain't the crew. Oh, that was a rough. Okay, that was a rough. Let me go back to the ship. Alright, and then you're just the ship again. Okay, yeah, and then you continue up and down from the map. This is uh, to the lift, the top lift here. Uh, and oh dear, uh, it's okay because you can slip there. That's just me using my map to just check. Oh dear, see, because you fall there, that's a long piece. And here, okay, and just checking out the map. Where exactly it is. Uh, there's nothing on top, so. Oh, but there's a part up there. Maybe. Yeah, so I, I do recommend checking your map quite often to just see like, where everything goes. Okay, here's some more research note. Despite the best effects, the dimensional stabilizer won't hold out forever. It's collapse is inevitable. Hmm. Okay, and then there you go. Okay, so that's just uh, another teleporter. That's not an actual stage. It's just so that you can get across the map easier. So yeah, this looks like an entrance to another stage. There we go. Yes! Ooh. Oof, man, excuse me. Okay. <coughs> okay, sorry, I didn't read that. One. Yeah, this definitely looks like a... Oh yeah, this is a stage. Oh yeah, this is the ah, one with the conveyor belts. So, the conveyor belts I added to... For some extra... Platforming. Make it a little bit more interesting. Okay, I think I, think I, I was oh. trying to figure out where the... I think it was whether I can get there, but I wait, but I can't. 
because you can't flap in mid-air. You have to land before you can flap again. I don't know if I mentioned that, probably not. Okay, well, so here it pushes you first, so you have to first fight the current, then flip, and then go again. Fight the current, but in the opposite direction. Okay, and here's... Uh, I just check the right on top. There's two paths, and then I pick the top one and I just make my boss fight. There's the other one, there's a checkpoint, so. Oh, yeah, the top one is definitely better. Okay, and, that, and then you have to here yeah, just fight the current and then flip before that uh, platform disappears. Mm -hmm. It's the same. Not sure if they disappear here. No, they don't. So you don't have to worry about them disappearing here. Just flip. Oh! You just have to time it right, because um, they move quite fast. And there's a slight delay when you flip. It's small, but it is there, so... You have to keep that in mind. Yeah, I just was on the edge there. Oops, and this one is supposed to go you know, first across to the left, just across, and then on the bottom is supposed to go to the right. I'm trying to figure out what's going on here. I was confused by this one. I wasn't sure where to go. So just across. Oh dear, here I died a lot. Oh, I remember. Because that's the next part, and uh, here on the bottom is where you get the trinket. I really tried uh, to get the trinket. And I mean, it doesn't really do anything. I mean, it, it gives you access to the songs, but, you know, it, it's an in box form, and you can only listen to it in the ship, like, while you when you when you leave the ship, then the songs stop playing, so it's not really, it's not really worth it. <laughs> now when it when it hits the room, yeah, this one's very difficult because it you have to fight the current, but you can't just once you build up some momentum and you move more forward than you move back, um, you can't just keep pressing forward then because then you're going too fast. Then then they will hit you. So basically, after every one. After you pass one, you have to let go again and then yes. you get the timing right, because you can't just go forward, otherwise it doesn't work. Yeah. And here, this part is also ridiculous. Because look, you'll see that you have to... You have to go across, but you have to... You have to wait until the very last possible position where the, where the platform stops, you'll see now. Figure out, I figured it out eventually, but it was a little C. No, All not here. Because you have to stand on the absolute edge. No. no. no figured it out. No, not there. Now, not now. Oh, there, I think I saw it there. Yeah, see, that's where you're supposed to stand. That's how you make it. It's, it's pretty ridiculous. Yeah, that trinket was definitely not worth it. All that effort. So, I'd recommend just going through the game normally. Like, it's 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 challenging and fun enough that the trinkets aren't really that fabulous unless you want to play some more of the game. What? At this side you have to do the same thing, the same trick. Stand on one leg. And going this way is obviously much easier because it's with the with the um, not with the uh, conveyor belt, so it's not that hard. This one is just speed. Timing and speed. Whoa ho ho. Hold on. What? And here I uh here I didn't No I missed the is it here? No. What? Oh and here um you have to 
or in between the clouds, but you, oh, you fall faster than the clouds, so you have to block yourself. Go up a little bit, block, and then block, block, and then block, and then go. Oh, one more. After the cloud comes out. Here we go, that's another save yeah. point. Teleporter, so you can teleport from there to any other teleporter in the map. I think, yeah, here I got again, I got confused. I wasn't quite sure what that thing was on the right. Everything collapses eventually. Everything collapses eventually. Oh, oh wait. To the right, no, not here. I was trying to figure out where to go. I was just uh, just using your map, like moving a square and then moving a front map, because it, it it explores then that area. So here it was either right or or, or left. And I just down, down right. So this is where it continued, but I think more to the left. It might have been a trinket, but. Um, One you have to get to there on the bottom and then stay here on top, flip again on top, but wait for it to carry you to the right. <laughs> or to the left. So you have to flip now. Oh come on! Oh dear. What am I doing? Flip now and then wait for it now. Wait for it. Flip down and then just flip yes. down. Then the last one was just wait for it to make it up. These ones, I'm just timing. What? Oh dear. Wow. I'm just, yeah, just flip through that gap. Flip, what? Flip, flip through the gap. Yeah, I didn't get that one, that one's also a trinket, I think, and I wasn't sure whether to go up or down. So I just went, just went left, and then because this conveyor belt pushes you right, you can't go back. So I wasn't sure. So now I was confused, so I went, <laughs> I tried to go back, but then I realized I'm not. I've seen, I realized no, you can't go back because they block the way in because of the. Yeah, because of the. I wasn't sure. You can maybe make it, but yeah. And here again, I wasn't sure what to do, but you're basically supposed to upside down, you flip upside down, and then touch the pad, and then let it let it dissolve, and then go back because the other pad is a moving pad, but the dissolving pad. Um, is is blocking oh. it, and I wasn't aware of this, and I only figured it out then later. So, 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 so ah, and then so I went to the left here. And then here, you can see, you, you just have to go to the. I'm not sure whether I went to the right or. I was trying to figure out where to go again. Oh yeah, you just have to touch that little. Well, I guess I'll just go straight there. There, and this is also just up and down, and that trinket is ridiculous. You have to go all the way to the top part, and then again dissolve with, dissolve those uh, those pads and um, those platforms, and then go all the way around on the left. 
and then you can come back. So then that platform will be freed, which will allow you to get the trinket. But I wasn't in the mood for doing that. I was trying to figure out what to do and then last time was going on. Alright, over here. Ooh. Let me just see, I'm not sure what to do, I think. Flip. There we go. See, like here, you stand, stand, and then flip. Now you're supposed to go oh, all the way I back to, to the left, back. and then you'll, the way you'll find those. The same. But I'm not sure if the checkpoint will ah, remember. Yes, so I think you have to do it in one life. I think if you die, you reset. Oh, okay. And there's another crew member who's really Okay, so basically, yeah, if you read on top, you'll see that if you're standing on the floor, on the bottom of the floor, yeah, the floor, then you'll follow it. So if you're standing on the ceiling, he doesn't, he doesn't follow you. See, but when, you know, as soon as you touch the floor, then he follows you. So you have to guide him across. So see, yeah, using that mechanic, you have to stand there, land, and then land. Timing here is very important. Tony is a professor, a study professor, a professor of time. I time it so that you can walk into it okay, when it hits the floor. See, then I'll stop. Another ceiling again. Have to be oh. quick here, and then at the end. Front <laughs> match. Wow. So you can flip, flip quickly to get the, the spot right. And then the last one you can do it with a big. What was what? That big C. Oh, he's, he's asking now. The professor asking us. I don't really know how to answer that question. It's a chip. <laughs> and, then, and, then, and then the captain saying, <laughs> saying, uh, I don't think we should think about it too much. Let's just keep going. Because the professor wants to take it to the ship to study the checkpoint. Oh, oh, oh. And then the captain saying, I don't think we should think about it too much. Let's just keep going. Because the professor wants to take it to the ship to study the checkpoint. That's funny. Okay. So here. Um, oh, 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 I see. Yeah, you have to bring him what? close stop. and then stop. And then once he's on top, then what? Oh, he's gonna run into this bugger. Ah, honey, I know. And then, for some reason, you have to do this part over. Okay, so I'm not sure why. Action, run. Oh. <laughs> Oh, no. Nope. 
Escort missions, man. Escort missions. Man. Yeah, escort missions. Every game. Every game. They almost always don't work. And this one is also very There's frustrating, one actually. Because he doesn't. The professor doesn't follow you exactly. Like he follows you only. See, I literally like a machine, you know, like centimeters. I just tap, 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 tap until I went. I got. He followed me. Because otherwise, if he picks up just, you know, just a tiny bit of momentum, he kills, he kills himself. So, because he follows you, but he doesn't follow you. On top of you, he follows like a little bit behind where you are. So, so it makes it hard. Okay, this piece here. You have to go um, like underneath first and then go over on top. Quite simple. You just um, you just use those platformers. As a, you just stop there at the edge. See, it took me a while to get this. Don't do that, yeah. Now and then move on, move and then move again. So then you um, and then you can guide him by flipping here. Oh, see, and then now you can guide him. That's how you do it. Oh, and then maybe I should guide you now. Stop. Flip. Flip. Stop. See, like that. That's how you do it. Okay, so I should go on. I should go upside down. Just flip once and then use these. Huh? And just make sure you move on to the next platform before the platform slams you into the spikes. And then wait for the, wait for the professor. Right, now. Now. Flip. There we go. Yeah, at least he moves off the screen because I don't think he would be able to do it otherwise. Oh my god. I don't know. Oh no, yes, he wouldn't be able to. Because as soon as you land here, he would run to you and then he would yes. kill himself. Oh my goodness, wow. What is there anything else in this dimension? Maybe we should probably just focus on fighting What? Oh, there's a guy over there. Yeah, because here you'll see the problem about him not following as close as possible, he actually gives you a little... Yeah, because you have to do it on... You have to just look across, but you have to just time it right and see where he is. See, he doesn't follow you exactly. So it's, it's, it's actually annoying. Makes it much harder. See, like that. So you have to sort of like pull him. You have like a mini leash. See? That's how far it close he follows you. So once you get past that, you know, minimum following distance, then he, then you pull him. So you have like, see, you have sort of a leash. You can see that leash effect there. <laughs> oh dear. So. I so recommend exactly pulling him, going far right, right and then coming left close to you. again from for here, so I should um, to be honest, I'm yeah. yeah. Just keep trying till you get it right because, I mean, he's so useless. This one I like because this one's a puzzle piece. You have to go all the way to the bottom and pull him, pull him through to the bottom. And then here you have to walk all the way to the top and then you pull him, see him, like pull him there. Like that. Let's see, yeah, I think that's wow, that's almost the end almost the end of the video. Um 
And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Because I didn't, yeah, I didn't continue further than this. Um, yeah, that's it. Sorry that it was... It's a bit long. But... Um, yeah, I decided to just make the whole thing that you can... You know, you can look, look at what you want. And then if, you, if you don't like a piece, you can always skip to the next one. And it ended up being, you know... Like I almost finished the whole thing by playing. Um, so... I decided to, anyway, to just make it in two big chunks and, I, um, and then finish the game. I just wanted to record a little bit piece, but then I realized, oh, you could actually finish this game in you know, like, like two hours or so. So it's not that big of a deal. Anyway, thanks. So thanks a lot, and uh, yeah, I hope you, I hope you enjoyed it. And see you in the next one. Thanks. <laughs>